Hey, what's up? This is Leandro Bigetti from LittleAlchemist.io and today we're going to learn how to build a module in Elixir. All right, so you're watching the From Zero to Hero series in Elixir. Check out the previous videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about. And there's also some stuff like getting started, how to install Elixir and stuff like that. Let's briefly talk about what functions and modules are. So in programming in general, a function is something you call passing in some values or not values, no values, and you get a value back. So for example, you call the function sum with one and two, and then you get back three. That's the idea, that's what a function is. And in Elixir, a module is what aggregates a certain set of functions, right? So it's how you group a certain set of functions. Let's get started. We're going to come here to our friendly neighbor, Atom, and we're going to create our very first module. We're going to create a file for starters, and we're going to name it awk.ex. How you define a module is by def module, right? And in Elixir, you name a module with a cameo case, that is capital first letter and then the other letters lowercase for the module. And you have do and blocks, right? Do and, which work kind of like parentheses work in some other languages, it just defines a block of something, right? And a function in Elixir you define with def, again, with do and blocks. And functions you name with snake case, that is how you can see here, by words are separated by underscores. So we're gonna just name for now our function, Jesus Christ, as a <laughs> hello, right? And in Elixir, you return the last value that you assign or the last value that was evaluated. So here we can just put in a string, hello world, and that is gonna be the return of our function. So we're gonna come now to our shell here and we're going to run iex so we're going to use the c function here to compile our module right you have to be in the correct directory to use the relative path which is what i'm going to do so i'm just going to pass in awk.ex and that's going to compile our module and then you can see here this is the name of the module so now to call our function hello what we do is that is we type in our module name and type in our function, right? And I'm gonna just open and close parentheses because we don't have any arguments. Now we're gonna type in enter and you're gonna see that it worked. Yay! We have hello world. Now let's try to do something a little more sophisticated. Let's pass in here stuff and just print the stuff. Well, just return the stuff that we pass in here, right? Now, if we come back here and we, we have to recompile, you're gonna see a warning that is defining your module again. And we come in and awk hello. Now we need to pass in whatever we want it to give back to us. So we see this is my argument, right? And you're gonna see that it comes right back at us. Let's make this read a file. So let's rename this to read my file, right? And let's pass in here the file name. So uh, you can check out the previous video where we explained this a little bit better, but the way you read file in Elixir is just you basically call the file module, which is from Elixir itself. This is not, I didn't do this, so right? So this is, comes with the language and you have a function called read. If you pass in the right file name, it's gonna read in your file and return a tuple, just telling you if the operation went okay or if it didn't, right? So let's do just that. Let's recompile our module again. And now, well, now we need a text file, right? Let's create something here. My example.txt. And this is gonna read, this is my super awesome stuff, right? We're gonna just save this here. As we're in the same directory, I'm not gonna put any path. You can just put in the file name and it's gonna work. So if we come here now and we call in our module and we're now named it read my file, right? And I call the read my file function and I pass in my file name, my example.txt.
this is what happens. It tells me that it went okay and it gives me back my file contents. Now I'll just showcase what I did in the last video, which is this, this is wrong, this returns something else. So now basically you created a small function here that reads a file and returns the content to wherever you called it from. These functions are called named functions because they have, oh fuck, <laughs> because they have names. There is something called anonymous functions, which is gonna be the topic for future videos. For now, that would be it. So, if you like this video, don't forget to share with your friends and comment here below what else you wanna see, if you couldn't follow this or if you have any issues. Don't forget to like the video here and subscribe to the channel for the latest videos here and more Elixir stuff. And until next time, take care and happy brewing.